On September 25th, 1955, James Dean showed Alec Guinness his brand new Porsche Spider. Guinness thought the car appeared sinister and told Dean, if you get in that car, you will be found dead in it by this time next week. Seven days later, James Dean crashed the car and died, which was only just the beginning. I'm Paul on behalf of Graveyard Shift, and this is the story of James Dean's cursed automobile. Now, some people don't know this, but James Dean was a professional race car driver in between making films. In 1955, after filming was completed on his last film, Giant, he traded his 55 Porsche Super Speedster for a brand new and faster 55 Porsche 550 Spider and entered the Salinas Road Race. Now, Dean chose the number 130 and had it painted on the side of the car, as well as Dean's nickname, Little Bastard, which he put on the tail. On the way to the Salinas race, Dean was allegedly traveling 85 miles per hour, heading west alongside Route 466 with Ralph Voltrick, his mechanic and a former Porsche employee, when they crashed into 23-year-old Donald Turnipseed, who was making a left turn on a Route 41, who did not see the low-profile Porsche coming. Now, according to witnesses, Dean's car smashed into the ground two or three times, flipping over in cartwheels. Remarkably, Turnipseed and Wolfick both survived. Dean, who was only 24 at the time, died before he even reached the hospital. Now, the infamy, though, of the car continued. Doctors McHenry and Estrick were both racing in cars that had parts from Little Bastard. Estrick's car rolled, resulting in injury, and McHenry fatally lost control and hit a tree. Legend has it, that George Barris, who bought the wrecked car, sold two of the undamaged wheels. They blew out simultaneously, causing the new owner's car to run off the road. Now, Barris reports many more myths. Two thieves attempted to steal parts of the car, and both ended up seriously injured in the process while doing so. And in 1960, the car mysteriously disappeared. Porsche historian and author of James Dean at Speed, Lee Raskin, disputes much of Barris's claims. He says he disposed of the car himself and said, he is a fraud who has capitalized on buying the carcass of the wrecked spider. Whatever the truth is, it's obviously a great tragedy that the short-lived icon died at the hands of something he loved. I'm Paul on behalf of Graveyard Shift, and this is the story of James Dean's cursed automobile. Take it easy driving. The life you might save might be mine. You know? <laughs>